Hi there guys, so in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can um, add a jQuery script in WordPress and uh, run some jQuery functions or code in it. Uh, so this can uh, be either in queue to the admin side of your site or the front end. So NQ is the way how you add scripts to a WordPress site. So I'm gonna be using this term NQ uh, a lot in this video. So I hope you know that already. All right, so first things first, we have a demo plugin set up here. Uh, as you can see, demo plugin, which is active. And uh, it what it does is basically uh, as this menu page, it's a black menu page, nothing but the registration part. And this is where we're gonna be enqueuing the uh, script in the admin side. So let's get into it. Uh, let me switch to my editor. So uh, this is the plugin source. As you can see, it's a basic uh, uh, main plugin file as the uh, registration code for the menu. And then uh, let's add our uh, uh, registration code for the script. So uh, how you add uh, uh, scripts in WordPress is you use hooks. I suppose you have that much knowledge. And uh, let me just use the hook. It is admin and Q underscore scripts. And then uh, you can supply a function which is uh, above or below or somewhere else in some other files. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna uh, write an anonymous uh, function uh, right there only. And let me just close this. Let me give it a focal variable because it, it has that property available. Uh, so um, I'm also using query monitor under the hood. So I'm gonna use it to, to view what the hook is for the page. Um, I have also gone through how you can use the query monitor and other plugins to debug or uh, look into uh, variables, uh, etc. So do watch that video. Uh, I'm going to link it in the video description as well. So let me just use that QM underscore debug. And we'll do is basically just supply the hook variable in it. And then if we were to go to the speech, we'll see here in the logs, we have the uh, variable state assets, which is top level page and uh, demo custom menu page. So let me just remove this, put it in a conditional, and uh, we'll say this and then equals to hook. If that is true, we'll enqueue our script. And the way you enqueue, enqueue a script in WordPress is by using the WPNQ script method. Uh, so the first parameter it has is um, handle, which is a string type. So you can name it anything. For this demo, I'm gonna be calling it demo script. The second um, parameter is the source for the, so this the source is a uh, URL uh, property. So it has to be a string and a, it has to be a URL, uh, which will be publicly accessible. So. Uh, for this, what you need to use is plugins, URL, function. And then uh, this path is what uh, uh, you will use to uh, enter the absolute path for the file. So let's leave blank uh, for now. And then this is uh, uh, this is one thing that you will need to know. That is, uh, this has to know the plugin path as well. So this is where we use file. Uh, constant basically so basically uh, super global but uh, what you generally would use in a plugin is a constant defined already in your main plugin files so since i'm already in, a, in the main plugin file i can use it like this uh, in your case you would uh, basically be using something like you define the constant uh, such as uh, say demo plugin path and then you have that uh, constant available uh, throughout your plugin like this so, and then we'll basically just be using demo plugin path here instead of this. So that's how you do that. So the third uh, parameter for the WPNQ uh, script is uh, uh, the dependency array. So uh, this is quite in depth. If you were to look uh, into what all scripts are available by default in WordPress, because jQuery is among them. So we're just gonna be using on array and we'll be using the default jQuery script available from WordPress. Let me just say jQuery. Uh, so I already know that it's called jQuery, so I can just write it like this. And you can take a look at this WP NQ script page in the uh, WordPress documentation, what all scripts are available and their handles basically like this. 
So we have jQuery like this and the version number available 3.6.0. Uh, okay, so the fourth parameter is uh, the version number. So how you do this is by using the file m time method, uh, file m time, and this also takes in uh, the route to your um, script. But this time it's not gonna be a URL; it has to be an absolute path directory. So for this, we'll be using plugins. Dot uh, URL, I think it's called uh, plugin dot URL. Sorry, dot path. And then this will also take in the uh, underscore underscore file global, which we already have defined in our demo plugin path uh, constant. Demo plugin path can try today, I guess. All right. Um, yeah. So file and time. Uh, so again, this is not complete because we have to uh, enter the absolute URL of our file. So the last thing is the uh, the in footer uh, um, boolean which you have to define whether you want to enqueue the script uh, before uh, body or uh, in the footer. So in this case, in most cases, you'd want to enqueue it in the footer. So make it true. Let's uh, create our uh, script file. Um, Generally, uh, if you were to follow any plugin standards, you would have an assets folder and then a JS folder or something like that, or you can just keep it in a JS folder in your plugin root folder. Uh, yeah. So let's just create a plugin script in this. We'll call it demo script.js. Um, demo script.js. And uh, let me just console log i so that we know that the script is enqueued when it is. Okay, so remember we left this parameter empty in the plugin URL function. Uh, now, uh, this is where we need to uh, enter the absolute path again. So the first parameter is for the path. Uh, so relative to your plugin directory, we will have to just uh, enter the uh, relative path. And then in the file in time method, we'll have to um, join um, with a string. So it, uh, remember, it has the backslash already. So what you need to do here is js uh, demo script.js. And that should be it. That should do it. So by the way, how do I know already all this is because I've been using this. So what you can do is use the uh, QM method like I showed you QM uh, debug, etc. And that is uh, available uh, via the query monitor plugin that you can always check in the video I have already mentioned. Uh, I'll also link it in the description. So yeah, let's take a look at our uh, uh, menu page. If it is available, the, let me open the inspector and in the console, as you can see, it says hi, and we have the script uh, in here. So let me just toggle off the query monitor and let's take a look at our demo script file. And then um, this is the important part. Uh, since we already have the script available um, in our uh, page here, how do you use the script, sorry, the jQuery, like you would generally use in any other uh, uh, app or anywhere you have used. So, so let's take a look how to do that. Um, how you do that in WordPress is by uh, opening a parenthesis and then uh, creating a function in it, uh, we'll give it a parameter of the dollar sign, which is what you use for jQuery short syntax. And then uh, in the uh, parenthesis, uh, we'll uh, create another parenthesis basically uh, to invoke the function right after. Uh, so it's basically a function inside another function. And then the parameter is what you have given here. So this is the global uh, object available here. If you were to check, as you can see here, it is, uh, it's a function. Um, and then it is available here. So if you were to console log the dollar value it was here, you will see that it will output the jQuery function as you can see here. Now, uh, the optimal method to use uh, jQuery in a WordPress site will be uh, by using the document ready method because you would want to have the page loaded. What you do is um, um, like you would normally do an already function. You'll just write like this a function 
and then in the ready method then console log uh, let's say hi again and uh, it should work right as you can see it says hi but uh, uh, now this will load it only after the page is loaded so yeah another thing uh, which I'd like to add as a tip that you can um, um, basically provide it uh, some custom data to your script so suppose you have uh, some data coming from your plugin or some sort of uh, data that you'd want to have available in your script so what you can do is uh, utilize WP localize script function so as you can see here it takes a few parameters uh, let me close this and the first parameter is the handle the, it will be the same handle sorry it will be the same handle as your nq script function so we'll call it demo again script and then the second parameter is the object name which will be available in the script so this will be called uh, this you can call it anything for the sake of this demo i'm just gonna demo data and the third parameter is an array it only takes an array so make sure that you have this as an array and you can um, have any amount of data here uh, but generally it is used to provide uh, configuration settings etc to your script and then utilize that in the script so um, let's say you want to know which version you have or uh, which WP version you have running on your site and then what you do is choose the uh, get uh, info blog info and then we'll have a uh, version here because that's how you get the version info for uh, the WordPress site and then let's uh, okay so also we'll need to add that here if you want to maybe well, you don't need to add that here basically because it's a super global i mean not super global but it's available in the global scope so you can just say console dot log and then demo data and this will basically be that yeah as you can see it is that but what you can do is like we did this for jquery a short syntax method you can just pass it here and then have another parameter with some other short syntax such as dd and then just use that like this and it will still be the same but it will be shorter so um, this was one way to do that and uh, you can utilize it in all sorts of ways um, let's take a look at how you can um, uh, enqueue the same script at front end so suppose you want to enqueue at front end let me just remove all the uh, hooks for that we won't need, be needing hooks here and then we can just say wp uh, underscore nq script because that's the book for front end and now if you were to take a look at the uh, front end we'll have the same script running over here and uh, here it is it's the same if you want to maybe use the jquery to um, replace something let's try doing that and then we know that this this has a class of wp block site title let's get into our uh, script here and then we'll say in a jquery function uh, we want to maybe change the text of it into dd version or sorry wp version that's just what we called it the the global uh, variable which we have from the plugin and if you see that it will automatically replace that uh, I mean, it's basically standard jQuery. So there's that. Hope this video is helpful. Uh, I'll see you in another video. Thank you.